You should already know that in Excel we can sort data in ascending or descending order. For example, if we want to look at the sales of these countries and the, and the categories in order of the sales, then we can put our selection box anywhere on that column and use the Home tab, Editing, Sort and Filter icon to sort on that column either smallest to largest or largest to smallest. Let's do smallest to largest and you can see it's sorted the data in ascending order. What that also does is keep the rest of the data with it so it's not just sorting that column but it's sorting everything else as well. You have to be careful some people tend to think oh I need to select all that data to sort it. Don't do that because if you do Excel will just sort that data and it, you'll lose the correlation from your rows. So don't highlight, just put a cursor, um, a selection box somewhere and it doesn't matter where on the column that you want to sort by. Let's sort it by country this time. So I've got a single click on one cell in country, editing, sort and filter, A to Z. And it's put in in ascending order of country. So that's fairly straightforward. You should know that. What you can also do though is a custom sort that will allow you to sort by more than one column at the same time. Same principle, just make sure your selection box is somewhere on that data. Doesn't matter where, you don't need more than one bit selected, just one click on one cell is sufficient. Then we do again from the home tab. Editing, Sort and Filter. This time we're going to drop down to Custom Sort. And we get the Sort dialog box. And we can sort and choose which column to sort by here. Let's sort by say uh, country. Sort on values, or you can even sort on colour, for example. A to Z. That does the basic sort that we've already been doing, but the benefit of coming into this box is that we can add a level. That allows us to add another column, so it's sorting by country, and once it's sorted by country within those country categories, we can sort by, for example, sales. Again, sort on values, but it could be on colours. And let's do smallest to largest. We could have largest to, to smallest. Select OK. And what has happened to the data? It's sorted it into country order. Then within those countries, it's sorted by sales order. So it's sorted by country. And within those countries, it's sorted by sales order within those countries. So that's selecting one cell, using the editing, section, sort and filter, drop down to custom sort and there's the sort that we've got built into this worksheet. We can delete items by from here or we could change the order. For example if we wanted to order by sales first and then country we can sort by sales then by country just by using these arrows here to move the um, sort bys up or down through the options. Let's just have a look at the options button. That allows you to decide whether or not your sort should be case sensitive. The default is sorting top to bottom, but you could sort left to right. And finally, this tick box here, my data has headers. That's telling the uh, spreadsheet whether the first row of your data should be classed as headers or not. You can see, even though we didn't select this data, it's automatically being selected for us because we'd selected one cell. It automatically selects the whole data. It can work that out, provided you don't have any blank rows. And all this is doing is saying, well, it knows as a top row, year, category, country, sales, are they headers or not? The default is they are. 
because obviously you don't want to put those headers mixed up in the sort. But if you take that tick out, you can see what's happened there. It's included, tick in, data ends here, tick out, it's data ends here. So it will be included. Let's just see what happens there. Click OK. Note that row of headings gets sorted alongside your data, which is not what you want to happen. So I shall just undo that. So just be careful when you use custom sort to decide whether or not your data has headers or not.